Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Uh, today we are doing uh, the first island tour I have ever done. And I am so, so excited because we are actually touring uh, the island of a very good friend of mine. Um, I've been knowing her in uh, the Discord server for a long time. Uh, this is her first island, so uh, I have never seen this one because she's also working on um, some other islands and I can't wait to tour those as well. Uh, but this island, she told me, is a forest core slash uh, swamp core theme. So uh, let's go check out her map. So we have Grace, uh, Hazel, Prince, Shari, Hornsby, <laughs> and she, I know that Grace loves Hornsby, and we have Camofrog, Henry, Tad, Zell, Molly, Dotty, and Lily, sweet Lily. So I think it's just so funny because I love how much Grace loves Shari and Hornsby. So uh, I think they will probably be on every island she has. <laughs> and the terraforming looks so good. The waterscaping looks so good. So I'm just, I'm so excited. So let's go check it out. So... Uh, I think we should probably go to the left first. So here we have Nuke's cranny and it's the perfect spot for it. And look at the garden wagon up there. I love how she placed it and it looks perfect next to the river mouth. And the terraforming of the river mouth is so so good. So um I think we should probably go this way first before we go any further. And the, uh, this entrance, it looks perfect. I'm struggling where to go. <laughs> there we have Shari. And that house. This house is that. It looks so good. And I think this island is from before the 2.0 update so I think we couldn't customize the houses at this time and oh my goodness I think that's Shari's house and look at this view oh my I just, I love how she has made it look so foresty. It's like you're literally in a forest and she, how does she manage to use colored flowers on a forest ground and make it look good? Because I could never, <laughs> I can't even use them on a spring coral and make them look good. So, I don't know how? And the view, it's so perfect. And this coal here, it's perfect. Okay, Grace, I think I need this code. <laughs> if you have this code, please let me know. <laughs> it's perfect. And this little, oh my god, it li it's little laundry area. And those green cookie or cracker things, I don't think I have ever used them. And here we have this perfect view and Molly is standing there, like, come on. This is so perfect and these little cramped spots where she have placed the houses, they just, they look so perfect. Oh my goodness. And there she is, sweet, sweet Molly. And this, like, oh, I don't get it how it's possible to 
make a forest ground look good with colored flowers. I'm just... I'm in awe of this. And I can't... It's perfect. She have placed like literally every building is placed perfect. And look at this view. And the bridge over there. And a the waterfall next to it. It looks so good. Just imagine how good it looks when the tent is up and at night time and when you look up you have the waterfall next to it and the starry skies. Oh my goodness. And the waterscaping is so well done because it looks so foresty. And the placement of the colored flowers are also so well done. And oh my goodness! Oh my god, it looks so good! And the path over the, the codes, it looks so so good. It looks like... It sh <laughs> I have no words. Like, how did she even think about having this on a forest garden? It looks so perfect and the, the log bench with a book. Um, how is it possible? So should we go? I think we should probably go up here first. And here I think this is Molly's house. And it's, I just love how every house is like cramped in. It just, it gives me the uh, like natural feeling, uh, almost like uh, there's no terraforming and the villager have like seen a spot and be like, okay, my house could be here. <laughs> if that makes sense, it just, um, I love it. So, should we go back or should we go down here? I, okay, sorry guys, I have never done an island tour before and I just want to go everywhere. <laughs> so, oh, look at these codes over the dirt path. Oh my goodness. And the view. Oh my god. And the wedding bench, it looks perfect out here. I would I would like never even think about using these items on a forest garden. But she makes them look so so good. And the orange or red mushroom parasol. I have never ever seen anyone decorate with it. So that's new for me and I love it and I just love placement of everything like you can see the April sisters when you walk in uh, on that path so I think we should probably check out uh, this first so I don't miss it and look at the little picnic spot it's so cute And the garden wagon, the placements of like every object, and this code. I need that code. Oh my goodness. And the Able Sisters, I love how she have uh, went like the clothing route with it, but it's so foresty. This is like perfection. So I think we should go up here. This is her house. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, it's her house. So maybe we should check that out before we go any further because I will probably miss it. Oh my... The g oh my god! The colors and the sunflower carpet and again the placement of every item oh my gosh and the custom codes she's using it looks so good and this little area with a switch and the pillows I love it it looks so good so maybe she have um, decorated the other rooms as well uh, I didn't ask her about that maybe I should so uh, this one is empty Let's hope there is something here because I hate that Nintendo haven't fixed the loading screens when you go. Okay, this one is empty as well. Um, when you go inside a new room, the loading screen is like as long as when you leave a building, and I really wonder why. So, should we gamble and <laughs> go? and check um, upstairs and downstairs because it would be sad to miss it if there is something uh, okay let's pray it's a bed <laughs> and it's the perfect placement <laughs> i'm just kidding okay so let's check out the basement and if there is something there, great. If there is not, there's DIYs. And that's like exactly what I do on my islands when my storage is full. I just put all the DIYs down there um, before the 2.0 update. Because it was so, so irritating that we couldn't uh, put the um, DIYs in the, uh, the storage. But anyway, the living room in this house was just perfection. The colors and everything, ugh, it was so good. So let's get back to... Maybe we should go to the right. I don't think we have been here. So let's go... Oh, there she is! Welcome! Thank you! <laughs> So, whose house is this? The colors on this house is perfect and the butterfly next to it. It looks so good. And oh my gosh. looks so good and the brown um what are they called are they called like street lamps or i don't remember the name of them but they look so good the colors is just matching the island so so perfectly and this house it looks perfect on this island and I and this waterscaping and the tent. Are you kidding me? Okay, we need to check out the tent in case you have decorated it. So it's uh, <laughs> it's a work in progress. 
I should probably have asked her before I did the tour. Um, but yeah, it was fun anyway uh, to check out the interiors. And I'm pretty sure that's Lily's house. So it's the perfect placement for her house. Um, thinking about this waterscaping next to it. And it looks so, so, so good. And the placement of the plant next to the house. And oh my god, I'm stuck. No, I'm not, thank god. <laughs> but yeah, the every item is so perfectly placed. Uh, I don't know how many times <laughs> I should say it, but I'm just, every time I see a new item, I'm just thinking like, okay, mm -hmm. she has placed it perfectly. And the forest vibes, I just, I love walking through the island and just, it feels like we are in a forest. I love how she has done that. And I'm pretty sure this is Henry's house. And the colors of his house and the flowers outside, it, it looks perfect. Oh my god. How is it possible to make f colored flowers look good on a forest core island? I need to know. And this house, again, the colors of the house and the colors of the flowers matches perfectly. And the house, all it looks so good next to the beach as well. I don't think the beaches is decorated, so I'm not going to check. And the placement of the plants outside. I would never think about that, but let's check out the map one more time. Uh, because I'm scared that I have missed something. We haven't checked out the museum. So let's head over there. And just walking through, it's just... I have some work to do on my first gradle. <laughs> and my first gradle is like 99% finished, but I did not get these forest vibes on that one so I think I should probably redo some stuff so I hope we are heading the right way yeah I don't think we have been here oh my gosh that you see them um, in the background like, how did she even come up with this? And the garden back in, and the mushlog. It looks so good! And also the trees behind the museum. They are placed perfectly, so it gives the forest vibes. Like every area is so uh, perfectly like cramped because it's cramped but not too much. So it's just perfectly. Oh mm. my gosh. Mm. And I love how overgrown it looks. And I love that the trees are placed so it kind of blocks off some of the view of the museum because the museum is so ugly <laughs> so it's like uh, it's perfect so hopefully we haven't missed anything and this cute little mm -hmm. pond okay 
we haven't been here. Oh my gosh. Like, this custom design is... I would never ever in my life think about using that on a forest square island. But it looks so good. And I love that we have like this jumping area to get over the river mouth. And there we have cute little Shari. Sh I hope I say her name right. Sh Shari, Sherry. It's Shari, right? <laughs> but now we are at the end of the tour and I don't want to leave. I just want to go check out the island again because this was so much fun. I loved the island. Everything is so well done and perfectly placed. So um, check out uh, Grace on Twitter and Instagram and everything. I will link her down below. If you want me to tour your island, please send me your dream address. I would love to check out some more islands. And don't forget to subscribe and goodbye. Mm -hmm.